it's been a week since Hoyoverse has gotten their GameSpot interview and has given us this blessed statement which will now be connected to the second year anniversary of Genshin where creating more combat related endgame could create excessive anxiety for the players and kicked off a giant casual versus hardcore thing on all different media fronts. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because it made it made it reminded me of like this old idea I had from 1.6. This was during the Legends of Vagabond event where I really liked it. It's a combat related endgame content, but my friends really didn't like it. But we like playing it together. That's the idea there. So my thought is what if we could make a content that could cater to all players? And this was from 1.6. Now I just want to resurface it now just because of the giant, you know, fuss over, over this weird anxiety statement. But the challenge here was I need to make a gameplay content pitch that's number one, optional, but can give the best rewards. In this case, Primo Gems. What causes giant anxiety to other players is the fact that they have to clear the abyss every single uh, first and sixteenth of the month just to get their six hundred primo gems. I mean, it's in place now; people could ignore it. But creating more of something like that is what's Hoyoverse's problem, as they say it in the thing, which I don't completely buy. But you know, number two. It has to be doable F2P. But at the same time, you know, still can make whales enjoy the gameplay. And number three, it should reward players for building their characters, but not make it a requirement to build those characters. You can see the, the conflicts here. It's basically just the, the casual versus hardcore statement of, I, I just want to feel rewarded for building my characters, while other people just don't want to be forced to, like, build these characters so they can just clear something so they can get those primo gems. I think at the end of the day, the problem is if the primo gem th sticker is like stuck into the event. And now at this point in Spiral Abyss, you can't take away those primo gems because doi, that's, that's pretty obvious why you can't. So here's the solution that I've given. I thought of this since 1.6 and maybe I should just share it now with the world. I've always just thought, I kept it to myself. It's just a, a fun thought, but maybe... I don't know. You guys can give your inputs on this. The idea is basically a community boss. You get a Magu Kenki with a million HP. No, a million is too low. Trillion HP? Quadrillion HP? Basically a high number. Where every week, you spend a ticket, or God forbid, 30 resin, like a weekly boss, and you'll have 5 minutes to deal as much damage as you want. This could be done solo, or could be done co-op. All that damage at the end of the five minutes, or maybe it, if you all die, all the damage recorded gets sent to the server, and everyone's damage piles up for the whole server to see. Then, at the end of the week, there are damage milestones in place. So everyone has, every time a milestone is hit, let's say we deal three trillion damage together as a server. Could be global, could be separate to the four, because I don't know how the logistics work, but just trust me on this. Every time we hit, let's say, we hit three trillion damage, everybody in that server or in the world gets 20 primos. And this way, nobody gets, uh, you know, the FOMO and feels like a community milestone whenever we hit it. So that basically clears the, the first point, which is it's optional, but it gives the best rewards. It's basically so that you know. You don't have to do it, but at the same time, you still get rewarded because the entire community piled up their damage with their one ticket a week attempt to hit this giant Magu Kenki. Number two, it's doable F2P. You don't really need to be a whale to participate in this event. You will still be participating. You'll still be adding up to those numbers, and as many F2P players could equal to one whale. And it, it feels like a community reward where you all work together to beat this giant boss. And finally, it rewards players to build their characters, but at the same time not make it a requirement to build those characters. The, the third one is addressed through solo and co-op. Where in 
clearly in Genshin Impact, it's just much better and much more controlled to do things solo. You cannot do Genshin Impact as if it were a raid. I don't think the characters are made that way. They're not supposed to be meshed together and we can make a raid. As much as people like raid bosses, I don't want Genshin to become an MMO. But if anything that Legend of Vagabond has proven, and maybe weekly bosses and domains, is that things that players can't do solo, they could do in co-op. And this completes the other half of the statement, which does not make it a requirement to build those characters. You don't have to have a well-built character to clear the thing. You could actually do it with friends because the four of you could have four DPSs and you deal a much greater damage overall altogether. At the same time, it also rewards those parts of the community that just people who just co-op for fun. They just want to help out people. It just gives a bigger sense of this community driven effort just to beat up this Magu Kenki so that we all get Primo gems at the end of the day. And I think that's about it. I still have more thoughts about it, specifically like the, the, the inner workings, the little details, the small nuances, and maybe even the idea of a leaderboard, but I think that's just too much already. This video has gone on too long. And I might be incentivized to make another one to share more of my thoughts about this if it gains enough discussion. So who knows? But I'll leave the thoughts to you guys. Hopefully you guys can give your own thoughts about it. What do you think? Am I just coping here too much? Maybe I am. But I just wanted to bring this old idea up again because of recent events. So thanks for going through the entire time. And hopefully I get to read some discussion about it later. But for now, that's it. Thanks for staying.